Infernal TARDIS. Four hundred years my crew has been in suspended animation, Doctor. Well, we can all do with a good line once in a while. Heart. No! Stop it! Stop it! There was absolutely no need for that. What does it matter? It was a Sontaran. They'll clone another 20 just like him. All life matters. Yes. Well, if your stupid craft hadn't stopped us, the issue would be irrelevant. I guess we just put them in here. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, do I have to run? No, okay. What do you mean, irrelevant? The friends have brought my ship back to life. What do you mean, irrelevant? We were on our way to the ceremonial annihilation of the entire Sontaran species. Ceremonial annihilation? The origins of a pretty perverted sense of pageantry. Our ship carried two doomsday weapons. Genetic bombs that would wipe the Sontarans from existence and end 10,000 years of war. One was lost in the crash, but all we need is that which remains. And now we will soon be free to use it. Uh -oh. Thank you, Doctor. Stop! Doctor! Satan shakes the earth in rage at our rightful quest! But he shall not stop us! God, you're Come! Crazy man. Help me! Yes, I think I better. You're a crazy man, Doctor. Follow me, Doctor! We must check on the powder! If it is spoiled, all our plans will be undone! The rack. Yay, the rack was used to torture people by tying or chaining them by their wrists and feet, so when the torturer turned a handle, the body of their victim would be stretched. That's kind of nasty. Alright, let's go this way then. Where the heck did he go? Whoa. Hold on there, Guido. Slow down. Yeah, man. Seriously. Stairs up. Where did he go? He's up here now? There he is. Uh-oh. Ah! There you are, Guido! Are you alright? By the grace of God, yes. But the corridor is blocked. And there is no other exit from here. Don't worry. I'll think of something. Now, what do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this game is great. I love it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Bush. Shoot. Okay, maybe we want to push. Shoot it? Push it. several tons of gunpowder in the other room. I'm going to have to be very careful where I point this cannon. Uh, let's see here. Let's put the... I don't know what goes in first. Gunpowder first? Yep. Oh, of course it goes in first. And then the cannonball. And then the cannonball? That won't work. Okay, so what wall are we trying to break? Why do I feel like it should be that wall? Hmm. Something's not right. Can we push it? Shoot it? Really? Alright, shoot it. Just needs the triggering. Triggering it. In fact, the way to watch. Okay, watches were still quite rare in this period and owned only by the upper class. Um, 
crap. So we oh, need to follow Fox. Well, I need one of those things. Well, maybe we'll try our uh, sonic screwdriver. We haven't really used it much. Nearly there. I'll be glad when we're far away from Parliament. Run! Amy, this way! Five of them need to be moved next door into that room, and that's where you should light the fuse. What is this? You seek to tell me my own business? No. Just make sure things are done properly. Look, trust me. We'll need 36 barrels of gunpowder in here. Oh, and uh, you need to set the fuse now. Now? King James doesn't arrive until the morrow. Listen to me, Guido, Guy, whichever. I have information that the King has come to Parliament tonight for a secret meeting. You must set the fuse now. Okay, the play trace on. Doctor! No time, no time! The houses of Parliament are about to be blown into orbit. Okay, they're what? Doctor, what did you just do? Pretty neat, though you think the gunpowder explodes, the root and ship takes off. Meanwhile, Parliament is transported up here out of harm's way just for a millisecond. And no one's the wiser. Is that the Rutans? Yes, that'll be them. It looks like they're coming this way. Doctor, where is the Doomsday weapon? I have no idea. Have you lost it? You know, you really can't be too careful with Doomsday mm, weapons. Your friends have taken it. And now we're coming to take it back. We don't know anything about any weapon, okay? Surrender it, or we will destroy you all. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, we'll see you on the other side. The loading screen. Oh, he's got it. Get off me! Well, what do we have here? I'm a boy. Question is, what the hell are you, a <laughs> flaming goblin? Nice. Like Field Major kid. Kash, the Avex patrol has come under route and attack. So, they have returned. Perhaps the weapon is still here. We may yet have a chance to turn the tables on the Rutan host. Question him. Cool. Look for the kid. I'm gonna guess it's that green sphere right there. It's gotta be that orb thing that Charlie ran off with. That must be the Doomsday weapon. Thing is, it looked familiar. Familiar? When I was at Black Rod's treasure room, there's an orb just like it set in the ceremonial mace. Of course you did. The Rutans lost a second Doomsday weapon when they crashed here. It's quite pretty for a weapon. Someone decided to incorporate it in the mace. And we think we know who has the other one. Charlie, yes, I heard. You heard? You weren't even in the room. Sound carries in the TARDIS. Have you never noticed that? I hear everything. <laughs> you hear everything? I sometimes wear earplugs. Now, catch. <laughs> And this is... It emits an electromagnetic pulse that will stun the Rutans. However, it'll need fixing before you go around pointing it at anything. And where are you off to now? We need to find both Doomsday weapons before either the Rutans or the Sontarans. The Sontarans? Of course, you don't think they'd be so worried about just any Rutan ship buried under Parliament, do you? They knew about the Doomsday weapons. If they get their hands on one, they could adapt it to destroy the Rutans. Exactly as the Rutans were going to destroy them. Maybe we should just leave them to it. We can't. Never mind the immorality of genocide, we have to get Parliament back to Earth, and we can't do that with some Tarans and Rutans marching, stroke, floating about. So we've got to find Charlie. You find Charlie, 
I'm going to find Black Rod. We should split up. We'll cover more ground faster. Yay, let's split up. Cool. Are we gonna have to be sneaky? I like being sneaky. Hmm. Parliament's a mess. I'm assuming that's where we are right now. Okay, so what do we got here? Can I talk to the Rutan? Rutan? Um... I don't know where the hell I'm going. Across the hall, okay, that's what he said. I think I can sneak in here, maybe. Ooh. This book was written by James I, which set out the doctrine at the do uh, of the divine right of kings. Put simply, the divine right meant that the king could absolutely could do absolutely anything he wanted, and no one could criticize him. Huh. Free monarchy. Love it. Okay, right, let's wait for him. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just make a run for it. Can't be waiting all day. Backwards now? That can't be good. Sons oh Things just got yeah. real. So much for transporting Parliament out of Palm's way. The poor kidneys are really gonna have their hands full when this all finishes. <laughs> up to really you're shooting at Amy you're an awful shot for starters and... oh the stupid idea was this go find Charlie let's split up why does it always end up with me getting shot yeah, at no, I agree okay objective we came from there oh, let's go here nope Charlie where are you damn look at all the Soldiers, look at him marching back and forth. <laughs> nice. Um, whoa, why am I being stealthy? Crap. Do I have to do something with the suit of armor? Oh my god, we're in outer space. How cool is that? That is crazy cool. Whoa, 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 I don't think I'm even gonna go this way. That is cool. Do I have to go upstairs maybe? Factoid. Macbeth, the tragedy of Macbeth is a play by William Shakespeare written sometime between 1603 and 1607. It was believed that it was written in honor of James I and that Shakespeare included references to a vampire plot within the play. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go this way. Where the heck was that other one? Oh, there he is. Hmm. Oh, crud. Is he just gonna stay there? There's so many of them in here. Charlie, where are you? Where is the Rutan weapon? I don't know what you're on about. I want to go home. My sister Annie, she's sick. I know it's been a difficult day with aliens and parliament floating in space and everything, but believe me, I've got a plan and it's a good plan. And this is part of the plan, my very, very good plan. If you just put the sword down so the plan doesn't come to an abrupt and frankly messy end, and I'll explain everything. Sir, I've had my mind lost to hairless devils, been attacked by giant orbs of flying light, 
and been blasted into the ether by plotters determined to kill my sovereign. The only thing of which I am sure is the yard of cold mm. steel in my hand and my determination to run it through your <laughs> gizzard. Well, since you put it like that, I can, of course, sense the tension in the room. And tension is never good. Not when a lot of it is humming down the blade of a sword. So, tell me, what can I do to turn this around and gain your trust? Uh-oh. He's really gonna cut the doctor? Um, hmm. King's in danger. If you kill me, the king won't stand a chance. The king? What do you know of the king? He is in grave danger. This I know. A letter was sent to Lord Salisbury, a warning of a Catholic plot. Yet, this is only knowledge to Salisbury and his uh -oh. agents. Or the plotters themselves. Of course, the letter, the Monteagle letter. Of course you'll have seen it by now. What trickery is this? <laughs> How could you know of the letter? William Parker, Baron Monteagle, he received an anonymous letter, didn't he? Warning him to stay away from Parliament and, as a good Englishman, he showed it to Salisbury. Your knowledge of events is indeed extensive. But still, these things fail to satisfy me on which side your allegiances lie. Hmm. Sure, he's a good friend. I guarantee you, sir, Lord Salisbury will be really disappointed if you run me through. Speak not of those of whom you know nothing, knave. Lord Robert Cecil, first Earl of Salisbury, spymaster to King James, defender of England, and Bob to his friends, and Bob to me. Run me through, and you'll really get Bob annoyed. Your silver tongue spins <laughs> a fine tale, sir. But you'll have to try harder than that to save your skin. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm his agent. I'm one of Salisbury's agents. Code name, the Doctor. This may be the case, but how am I to know? You may be a double agent, sir. No, really. Double agents, triple agents. I had enough of that in the 50s. It gets quite confusing after a while. You know much of the current situation. Perhaps you speak the truth. Can you prove this? I have my credentials right here. Just let me show them to you. Uh, we have credentials. We always do. Hi, buddy. Look at my psychic paper. That's right, put your sword away. I... I apologize. I truly do, sir. But I hope you understand my predicament. Uh-oh. Ah, come on. And you've brought a gun. You really shouldn't have. Oh, well, we're back to Rory now. It's interesting, this episode you were playing all three of the characters. And they kind of have you bouncing around everywhere. It's interesting. Uh, what do we have? Ooh. Musket. The Union flag. When King James the Sixth of Scotland became King James One of England, King James the First of England, he ne decided that he needed a new flag to be a symbol of the two countries. The English flag, a red cross on white background, and the Scottish flag, a diagonal white cross on blue background, were combined. Hmm. <laughs> Whose flag should be on top? Uh, grease pot. Sure, why not? <laughs> Sugar loaf. Sugar was extremely expensive as it had to be brought to into the country. It was a luxury item only for the very rich. Hmm. Interesting. People blackened their teeth to look rich. Whoa. Rory, please don't clip again. Horn books. Horn books were used by children who were learning to read and were common in the classroom. Hmm. Interesting. I thought there was a blue thing over here somewhere. No? Can I use the... Grease on that? Okay. Can I examine it now? Can I just pick it up? Alright, so maybe I need to combine then. Trigger mechanism. 
that one and then that one. He's got the gutter guns, eh? Well, it almost looks like a sort of <laughs> gun. Cool. Okay, you had the... Uh... Okay, here we are again. You're not a nurse, you're an action hero. You're not a nurse, you're an action hero. Nice. Greek. Alright, so what are we doing here? I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's go this way. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, friend. Oh, there's the TARDIS. Interesting. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm in danger here. Shoot me to Say hello to my little friend. Nope. nope. He's in a daze, eh? Hmm. Okay, dude, turn around. Seriously? You're They're nice. It's good. I always like. Always nice to have those references. Whoa! Where am I clipping into now? Oh crud! I'm stuck. Shoot! Say hello to my little friend. Why won't he move? Hasta la vista. Oh, man, that was way too close. Oh, hello. I know what you are. Well done. You will stand still and await the arrival of Field Major Kash. I'll be eliminated. Uh, I want to show him. You Santa Ha. Wait, what? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> what the hell was that? I just wanted to talk. Why so violent? Why so angry? Why are you mad? All right, come on, Doctor. You will stand still and await the arrival of Field Major Kosh. I'll be eliminated. I'm not keen on standing still. Can I talk to him now? Wink. Doctor. You will be silent or you will be eliminated. Ah. How dare you come in here? The king will hear of this, I assure you. And when he does, he will descend upon you devils with a full weight of the English crown. I said, on, why can I? Your so-called king is powerless against the might of the Santaran Empire. Santa. <laughs> Somebody want to throw me a bone here? You will stand still and await the arrival of Field Major Kosh. I'll be eliminated. All right, let's try to wink and a nod. Doctor. You will be silent or you will be eliminated. Ah. How dare you come in here? The king will hear of this, I assure you. And when he does, he will descend upon you devils with a full weight of the English crown. I said silence. Your so-called king is powerless against the might of the Santaran Empire. Santa. What the Try that one more time. I've got one more thing that I think I can do here. 
One more. Yeah, you will yeah, stand yeah, still skip. and await the arrival of Field Major Kosh. That doesn't skip. I'll be eliminated. Wink and a nod. Two nods for you this time. Doctor. You will be silent, or you will be eliminated. Yeah, another nod. Ah! Right, How dare you in. come in here? The king will hear of this, I assure you. And when he does, yeah. he will descend upon you, devils, with a on him. A full weight of the. Yeah. I hate violence, but a good whack on the back of the head is the only language a Sontaran understands. Beautiful. Now let's take a look at this mace. What witchcraft is this? No witchcraft, just highly sophisticated triquantum physics. Now, a little hush, please. These things can be quite tricky, and if I make a slip up, there probably won't be a great deal left of this corner. Reconfigure console. Oh, so... Man, that reminds me, I haven't had a mini game in ages. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Uh, this one. What am I gonna get to do it twice? How do I rotate it? How do I rotate? Oh, crud. I don't know how to rotate. See, okay, got it. Click the button this several times and it rotates. No problem. Got it. Device has been reconfigured. Now let's see the root and host wipe out a species with this. Thank you for your help. Ah, and don't come out until you feel the earth shake again. <laughs> Get off me! You will be silent, Amy. or you will be eliminated. There is no way I can take on both of these Sontarans. Okay, I need to distract them. You need to distract them. Is there anything here that we can use? Leeches! If you were ill, you would probably have visited an apothecary or a physician. Sometimes the physician would recommend bleeding. Either leeches would be put on your skin and allowed to suck blood, or you would have a vein cut and the blood allowed to flow until it filled a cup. Mm hmm. Wax seals were used to prevent a letter from being tampered with or opened by the wrong person. Um, distractions? A letter. The Mont, Mont Eagle letter? On the night of the 26th of October, 1605, an anonymous cryptic letter was delivered to the Catholic Lord Mont Eagle. Hmm, cool. So, let's see here. Oop. Am I out? How do I get them to notice each other? Um, kind of not sure how I'm supposed to do that. How is he not noticing each other? Oh, Amy. <coughs> Alright. Again. So 
I talk to the one dude, I'm not gonna click this ones again, I already know what they are. Talk to the jellyfish. Maybe wait for him to be walking this way and then trigger him. Alright, so um, Okay. Jellyfish. Hey yeah, you big jelly thing! Over here! Crap. Shush! I've come to get you out. Get him out then. Thanks, Miss. And to think I thought you were one of them. Where is the Rutan weapon? I don't know. I, I swear. Then you have no strategic value. <laughs> Amy! Uh -oh. Amy! Sweet. Do I still have my little gun thing? I do, too. He shoots, he scores. Beautiful. Um. Kinda not sure which way I want to go here. Oh crap. I'll just walk by you, buddy. Uh, am I even going in the right way? Don't need downstairs, okay. Oh, hello, friend. Oh, I turned around already. Shoot him! Shit, why did it- Ugh! Oh man. Crap, I don't even know where it's gonna put me. Where are you going to put me game? On the staircase. Okay. God damn, shoot. He shoots, he scores. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, friend. Can we get him in time? Say hello to my little friend. Okay. We're in a rampage here. the dead bodies. Oh, is this what Parliament looks like? I actually don't know. Maybe it's a good rendering, I don't know. Alright, come on, let's get this. Buddy. Nice shot, Rory. Let's go, move it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, crap. Go, 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 shoot him. Oh, are you serious? Okay, go, 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 shoot. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, 
Uh, is this where they were? My last marble. I better make, make it, it count. count. Or you know you can do it. Damn. I'm your hero, Amy. Look at me. You cold, my lady? I'm an action hero. We've got to find the doctor. A waste of time, wasn't it? Oh, a jellyfish is coming. Ah, isn't this cozy? Nice. We will take the doomsday weapon. The weapon is ours. Give it to me. Oh, listen to you. You're like a bunch of kids. Why, you? Anyone that's going to wage war on each other for ten thousand years is worse than kids. We fight for the honor of Santa. Santa, ha! Do you know what I think? I don't think any of you can even remember what you went to war over in the first place. Give me the doomsday weapon, Doctor. This? You want this? Or how about this? The second weapon. You found it. There are two. Two doomsday weapons. The dictionary definition of overkill, if you ask me. Or look at it another way. Plenty to go round. Why not have one each? One to wipe out the Sontarans, the other reset to destroy the entire root and host. What treachery is this? I prefer to call it stalemate. Go ahead, activate your weapon. But you'll never know. You might be killing your own species. Oh, nifty. Well done, Doctor. <laughs> uh, Sontarans laugh. That one does. A brilliant strategy, Doctor. You have rendered both devices ineffective. Once more, war is I like honorable. him, even though I don't like him. War is never honorable, Field Major Kosh. This device could have ended the bloodshed of ten millennia, Doctor, in an instant. How many millions more lives have you now sentenced to a bloody death? I could end the war right now. I could activate both weapons, destroy both species in an instant. And maybe you deserve it. No! Genocide is no solution to a war, even between Sontarans and the Root and Host. Now push off before I change my mind. Doctor! Whoa! That was wonderful. Doctor, that was brilliant. Thank you. And for my next trick, putting Parliament back where it belongs before anyone notices. What about Guy Fawkes? Uh, I left him in a locked room with 36 barrels of gunpowder. And soon it'll be midnight. Yay. Oh. Doctor! What has taken place? The door was jammed. Or locked. By God's own grace alone, I have survived. What news of the king? He's still alive. Then we have failed. You still have 36 barrels of gunpowder. Your place in history is assured. There is still a chance. Oh, believe me, they will light bonfires in your name for <laughs> centuries to come. People will know this as Guy Fawkes' mind. Do you think so? You have a part to play in history. Play it well, Guido. Mr. Anonymous. Anonymous. Open up! Open up in the name of King James! Happy bonfire night. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder, treason, should ever be forgot. Fantastic. Alright, well that's going to do it. That's going to close out episode 5 of Dark the Adventure Games. I'm your Gibbs. Thanks for watching. And hopefully you enjoyed the gunpowder plot. We'll talk to you very soon.